All right, hello. I have some more art tour slash sketchbook tour that I was done with this about, I don't know, a month or two ago. But there's more because of course there is. Now the stuff I'm going to be showing today is all stuff that I don't own anymore. Pretty sure the majority of it I don't have anymore. So it's either the artwork was a gift or I just threw it away. <laughs> oh well, anyway. Let's just get right into it, shall we? So this first artwork right here is Lady Tsunade, as you can see right here. And I made this for my mommy. Oh, this was a Christmas present for my mother back in 2008, so 10 years ago now. <laughs> that doesn't make me feel old or anything. No, not at all. Anyway, so we got Tsunade here and her giant head. And we got two little chibis over here. I think these are the first chibis I've ever drawn. And boy, did I draw a lot of chibis. This was the beginning of the end right here. Mm. Well, this thing looks like shit, as you can tell. It's all, it's, it's taped together because the drawing was too big for the paper. So I taped it all together and yeah. Moving on. And here this was a birthday present for a friend of mine from high school. This is Grimdraw from Bleach. It's a little chibi. Because of course it's a chibi. They're always chibis. I drew a lot of chibis back in the day. I even have a video in my art tour called Chibi Getting, I believe. So many goddamn chibis. I don't draw these nearly as much anymore. For good reason. Anyway, this is a little Grimjaw chibi with Prismacolor color pencils. Fabulous. Moving on. Oh, more chibis. This one is a chibi of Gata from Naruto. And it was for my sister. It's a coming home present for her. This is also done with Prismacolors. Adorable. Oh, this is from 2009. I think this one's 2009 as well. Yes, definitely 2009 for both of those. And this is a coming home present for my brother. Done with Prismacolor pencils. Pretty much everything that's done with color pencils is Prismacolor. Yeah, I think the majority of the colored stuff we're gonna see is color pencils, so. And here's some wrestlers. My, my brother really likes wrestling. I think he still does. We did back then. This is Jeff Hardy and Melina, and that's me holding a welcome home sign. Oh, adorable. I got this bunny over here. Because why not? Moving on. <laughs> this is from 2010. This is a sculpture. Sculpture with uh, quotation marks around it. <laughs> Big quotation marks. Sculpture, this thing. Yes, yeah. Mm -hmm. Sculpture. I made this for... My first art class I ever took in college. I don't remember what the project was, but I made this thing for it. Yeah, this no longer exists. It's um, uh, it's it's gone. It's it's gone. Oh, let me got this piece of shit here. I made this for the same art class, so this is still 2010. I think this is pastel and pencil and maybe a bit of charcoal. I don't know. This might be charcoal, pastel, I don't remember. And this lady looks like she got smashed in the face with a frying pan and now her face is just flat. Just <sniffs> boop. Smack. I think the purpose of this project was taking a Rockwell painting. I think it was Rockwell. It could have been somebody else. I don't remember. <laughs> it's been like, what? Eight years? I don't remember. And we had to take a little snippet of it and recreate it. And I recreated this lady at the coffee shop and, uh, I don't know how she breathes through that nose. Anyway, moving along. More chibis. So this is Oogie Talkie from Bleach. 
This is 2010, colored pencils. And I made this for a friend's graduation gift. She liked it. I actually think this one's still cute, even though this is like eight years old now. I still kind of like this one. And then this is the sister, the twin sister of this girl. This was also her graduation gift because they had their graduation party on the same day. So this is Death the Kid from Soul Eater. Fantastic. <laughs> this was a birthday present from my dad. <laughs> that's my dad and that's my cat Jet. And down here I drew him on getting attacked by my cat. <laughs> and he got this and he's like, why'd you draw me getting attacked by the cat? I was like, I was all like, I don't... Why not? Why not? Yeah. Fantastic. I don't even know if my dad kept this. I don't know where it is at. He might have gotten rid of it. Who knows? Who knows? I've made him a couple things and I'm, I'm not too sure what he does with them. Yeah. And... Okay, I made this for a friend from college. This is 2010. August. Get out of here. August 2010. These are two characters from Maid Sama. No, I do. I know. I don't know anything about this anime. Nothing. Nothing at all. Don't even know these characters' names. But she wanted this cute little thing. I think it. I think it was for her birthday. Yeah, I think it was a birthday gift for her. I actually really enjoyed coloring this. This is when I tried to started to experiment with colors. So her hair is brown, but I decided just to make just boring old brown. I added some purples in here. And maybe some reds and stuff. And then for her outfit, instead of making it gray, I used some beige and some purple. Some red for shadows. Yeah, I really quite like this one. He looks f fucking weird, but for the most part I like this one. She's pretty cute, and the coloring's still pretty decent. Her, um... Her tray is a little... Yeah. Moving on. <laughs> Here's another grim jaw. I made this for a friend's graduation. I kind of switched up how I did my outlining or my inking for this one. Oh god, that looks terrible zoomed in. <laughs> look, at, look at all the JPEG artifacting. God! <laughs> I used to... I used to, um... Obviously saved all of my files as JPEGs back in the day. Don't ever do that. Just, just don't. Never. Ugh. So I changed the way I inked for this one and think this one only. So the blue hair, I used blue, a blue pen to ink that. And then I used like an orange for the skin and then black for everything else. I don't know, I kind of don't, I don't really like it too much. It's not very cohesive. Eh. Oh, where's my arrow? Ah, there it is. This is a mask I made for a friend, the same friend I drew the Maid Sama for. I don't remember what she needed this for. I think she just used it for some photos and that's it, I believe. So it's just a store-bought mat. Mat. Store-bought mask with acrylic paint and some glitter. Lovely. Okay, this is 2012. Yes, it's 2012. So this uh, piece of shit right here. Oh, no. No, go away. I messed it up. Okay, try that again. This piece of shit right here is my first sculpture I did for my sculpture class in college. Got a little sheep. Bah. So this thing is poster board. These plastic things my dad gave me. A broken easel as the frame kind of see it here. Some crumpled up paper, some chicken wire, and some steel wire? Or was it aluminum? I don't remember. So yeah, this weirdo. I, I don't even remember what the project was supposed to be, but this is what I came up with. And here's another view of it. Yeah. Yeah, that's a thing. Carrying on. Here's another sculpture I did for that sculpture class. This was... This was a wood sculpture and cement sculpture combination. For the cement pieces, 
We got a lung, a jaw, and have a hand here. I actually still have the hand. Actually, I still have this whole thing. It's in the basement, but I'm not going to go down there and record it because I'm lazy. And I don't care enough. See, this thing still exists. Oh. Speaking of existing, this doesn't. I destroyed this. It is gone. But this is still here. And for the cement pieces, I... To make these, I made a, um... I sculpted them out of clay originally. I painstakingly sculpted this hand and this jaw. Like, painstakingly sculpting it. And then I made a plaster mold out of them. And then I poured the cement into the plaster mold. And when they came out of the plaster mold, the cement pieces looked like shit. And all the detail that I had in the clay wasn't, wasn't in the cement. And I was very salty and mad. Because the jaw looked like shit. Like there's a giant split in the jaw that wasn't there in the clay. And you can barely see the teeth. And then the hand just... Whoop! Whoa! whoa. <laughs> and then the hand just... Look like shit too. I actually have the hand next to me. Maybe I'll put a pretty little picture of it in here so you can see it better. Maybe. If I'm not lazy. Next one! This is just a painting of a sign I did for my aunt. Got this butterfly here. She had me paint four of these. I didn't take a picture of all four. I only have a picture of this one. I don't know why. This is 2012 still. This is just acrylic paint on a wood sign. Fantastic. And oh, back to the sculpture class. This is a plaster sculpture of a head with a sword going through it. I'm trying to think internally what's in there. I think there might be some newsprint and some chicken wire and maybe cardboard. I think there's a paper mache thing here and then plaster over it, I believe. I don't remember. So the point of this project was to have a head, a human head, with an object attached to it and I decided to do this. Yeah. And you can see other people's heads in the background. Oh hey, there's my wood project with the hand broken off. <laughs> I didn't know that was in this picture. Well, um, yeah. That thing didn't last very long. Carrying on. Ooh. So this is a metal abstract sculpture I did for that same sculpture class. I think this was the final project. Maybe. So for this we used a whole bunch of different metals and a bunch of different tools. So I actually welded this. Can I zoom in? So yeah, so we got these bars. You can see the little welding marks on it. Don't think I welded it very well, but we get the Hey, as a first time welder, I was terrified of welding before we did it, but it was a fun time. I really liked welding. I used two different two different types of welders. One was a stick welder, one was a MIG welder, I believe. So I did that and then I used a metal cutting saw. I don't remember what the saws are called, but it's the ones that you pull down onto the onto the whatever you're cutting and it has a giant blade. Circular blade. I don't Are they circular saws? I don't remember. It doesn't matter. <laughs> so I used that and I welded. And did I use a grinder too? I might have used a metal grinder, I don't remember. But man, during this class we were using a lot of, you know, dangerous stuff. Welders. <laughs> Metal cutters, all that fun shit. <laughs> it got super dusty with all the metal. Ugh, don't want that in your lungs. And super loud. So what I wore for this class was those big old over-the-ear earmuffs. I wore those. I wore um, safety goggles. I wore... Was it a dust mask or did I use a full-blown respirator? Either or. Then I had an apron on and some welding gloves. My god, did I look sexy in that class. Like, that's the- that- just apron, gloves, respirator, giant fucking earmuffs, and some goggles. I was the sexy thing alive in that class. And obviously I was wearing some shitty clothes too. So yeah, very attractive. 
and then just throw the welding mask on too and I was welding just fucking gorgeous <laughs> oh anyway yeah this is a fun project I was using some scary stuff but I had fun with it in the end so haven't welded since then what was this 2012. Yep. This thing still exists. My mom actually has it. It's on her porch. It's rusted now, but still looks the same. Moving on. Hey, back to drawing. I think we're done with sculptures. For now. I think I have one more to show. But we got some drawing. This is a Christmas present for my brother. This is Wesker from Resident Evil much to say about this one other than that his hand looks like a horse hoof. Don't know what I was thinking there, but hey. Whatever. Is this still 2012? This is a this is a little quilt I made for my dad for Christmas. 2012. I just I think he asked me to make a quilt for him. I don't I don't remember. But I just had some scraps of fabric and extra prints. So I quilted this weird shape thing and I did some embroidery. I don't know what he did with this. I don't know. Like I said before, I don't know if he keeps the stuff I make him. I don't, I don't know. Oh god, this, this piece of shit. So this is a painting I was going to do for my painting class, but I never finished it because it's horrifying. My idea was for this is that I like to redraw old artwork from years ago whenever I feel like I've gotten better at art and for this case I was like "Ooh, I've gotten so much better at art I should repaint something that I did from long ago and this character she was one of my original characters her name's Sasea I show her off a lot in some of my older videos my older um, art tour videos and I decided to paint her for painting class but unfortunately for me I was shit at painting so um this did not turn out the way that I wanted and I was like oh maybe I'm not as good as art as I thought I was <laughs> so I painted over this I gessoed over it and I think I reused the canvas I don't know what I reused it for but hey this is this is gone this is very gone it's whoosh gone oh I think that's the gesso up there that I covered it with <laughs> The beginning of the end for that painting <laughs> and here's a Christmas present for my dad I think I gave him this in the quilt she's just my dad and an angry computer on his shirt because he does IT because Merry Christmas moving on <laughs> and this I think I've showed this in a previous Archer video, but this is the whole thing put together. I only have the heart left. I don't have the hand anymore or this yarn thing. Yeah, I talked about this earlier, but this is just how it looks all together. This is how it looked when I used it for my show. Uh, just in case you haven't seen the video this was in, this is newsprint and masking tape. And then I painted over it painted over that with gesso okay what was I saying it's gessoed and then acrylic paint on top lovely and this is a mask that I made for the same project as this these are both props and a dress that I made for a show this mask is just a store-bought mask with acrylic paint and acrylic mediums on it to get this texture. I have some wire coming out of the mask. And then I have yarn hanging down from the mouth of the mask. And that's supposed to be blood. Symbolize blood at the very least. A lot of blood in my old artwork. Lots of it. Everywhere. Gallons of the stuff. Not so much in the stuff I'm going to show for this video, but for some of my other art tour videos, it gets a little gory. It gets a little weird. And this right here is a Christmas present for my sister. This is still 2012. It's just the cats. 
My mom's cat. My mom's cats. There was only three at the time. We now have four. This is just Big Fat Meany Face or Jet, which is his actual name. They call him Big Fat Meany Face because he's all of those things. And here's Poe Kitty. He's a big baby. And here's Pretty Lady or Hope. Her name's actually Hope, but I call her Pretty Lady because why not? Adorable. And this is a Christmas present for my mom. She wanted me to draw her as a chibi ninja. So I did just that. Not sure why her foot's floating awkwardly. Oh, back to the sculpture. So we're still in 2012. This is one of the last sculptures from that class. The theme for the cl the the theme for the project was to make pick an object and pick a singular object and make it five different ways with five different materials. Oof, I could not get that out of my mouth. So obviously I picked a paintbrush and I made it out of five I made it out of five different materials. I don't know why I can't talk all of a sudden. Uh-huh. So, we'll start from over here. This is balsa wood. This is yarn. It has a uh, two pencils hot glued together as an armature in here. And there's just w yarn wrapped around it and then yarn tied to the top. This is chicken wire and is it steel? Probably steel wire. And this is just a two by four. This is clay. And this piece of shit is Play-Doh. And I have to tell ya, Play-Doh does not keep. This thing shattered. <laughs> it does not exist, exist anymore because it shattered shortly, shortly after we completed this project. So yeah. Don't make shit out of Play-Doh. All these other things exist though. They're actually up in my attic. Too lazy to bring them down. And they're also, I also made a display case for these out of plywood. I think that's downstairs. I'm not getting that either. This is a Christmas present for my cousin. This is Thor on a horse. I made Loki on a horse that summer of 2012. And my cousin saw it and he's like, I want, I want Thor on a horse. But I want the horse not to look stupid. Because the horse for Loki's had a bit of a dirt face. So I went, did a complete 180 and made my cousin's horse super serious. Very serious horse. And these are pretty simple. This is from a dress that I did. Oh, we're in 2013 now. But these are sleeves or gloves, or whatever you want to call them, from a dress I did. A dress that I made for my fabric class. And I tan dyed this fabric myself. These don't exist anymore. I actually took them apart and kept the fabric because the fabric was really nice. I really like the dye job on these down here. God, they're so wrinkly. <laughs> I did not bother ironing them out at all. Like, I know they were supposed to be a bit wrinkled, but this is ridiculous. Oh well. So yeah, I kept the fabric, but they don't exist in this form anymore. And they are ironed out now. Yes, they're not. <laughs> They're not so ridiculously wrinkly. Just zoom in on that dye job a little bit. <laughs> Lovely. Oh god. So <laughs> I took a digital art class in college. And we didn't really learn how to paint digitally. Like actually make painting paintings. We just learned how to use the tools that Photoshop and or Illustrator offered. I don't remember how to use Illustrator at all, so I haven't used it since 2013, and I barely remember how to use Photoshop. I just use GIMP now for any digital stuff that I need to do, and I only use it as a photo editor, and I do drawings or sketches with Autodesk Sketchbook on my tablet, so I don't use Photoshop or any Adobe software because it's too expensive and I'm poor. Yeah. So for this project, it was just about perspective and manipulating the tools and just making look like there's a space, a 3D space here. So I just used the blur effects and transparency and all that fun shit. And then we got this little kitty cat here who's getting smaller and smaller in space. Lovely. And this one's similar, but it's in color. This one was black and white. 
losing my voice and this one's in color same principle just make a space that looks like it's 3d and that you can go into and this one I think the second yeah the second project I did for this class is just a repeating pattern I don't remember if I did this in Illustrator or Photoshop it's probably Illustrator I just made a little square I think This little bit, this little corner right here was a square that I made and we kind of just rotated and reflected it and made this made this pattern, grid-like pattern. And this one I made, I definitely know I made this one in Illustrator. This is just text. All of these are text that's man manipulated to make these weird shapes. Actually, I really enjoyed this project. Kind of like, I still kind of like this project. Still think it looks a bit cool. Oh, and they had like a, had to have like a series of five, and had a had a, had to have a cohesive design. God, I can't speak. So my cohesive design was using orange, red, and black, and then using X's or these these. So I think do I have the V's in all of them? Yeah, I think I do have the V's in all of them. I have orange, black, and red in all of them. And then I have the X's throughout most of them. Oh, yeah, I have the X's for all of them because the X's are in here too. I could barely see them. I had a lot of fun with this project. It's probably my favorite project that we did in digital class. Fun stuff. Then we're still in 2013. This was a Christmas present for my sister. It's just Inuyasha chibi form. Not much to say about this one. His eye looks a little weird. Like he looks like he's got a little lazy eye over here. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Oh god. So this thing right here was actually a prelude. <clears throat> god, I can't speak. Losing my voice. This is a prelude to a a project that I did later on. It was a big jellyfish. See if I can find it. Like I said, this thing was a prelude to another project. This was supposed to be some kind of weird, <laughs> whoa, <laughs> a weird baby mobile type thing. This made out of gross organs. That's what these piece of fabric are supposed to look like. They're supposed to look like organs. I just think they look like shit. So it's supposed to be a baby mobile made out of gore because why not? I was a fucking weird back in my early 20s. Hmm, what am I saying? I'm still fucking weird. <laughs> this is a little prelude to this lovely little jelly. It looks a whole lot better, doesn't it? So I use similar design elements that I used for that stupid baby mobile in this thing. I did show this in one of my previous art tours, one of my fabric ones. So I'm not going to talk about this too much. Yeah, similar elements. I have the stuffed fabric. Same way for this one. I have stuffed fabric in this too. And then I also have the yarn. And the jellyfish as well. And a bunch of texture. And lots of reds. So yeah. This also does not... This, this does not exist anymore at all. I took this apart and I kept... I salvaged whatever fabric I could from it. And this thing is just a tablet case I made for my old drawing tablet. I now have my Samsung tablet in here now. Don't, because I don't use my drawing tablet anymore. So I just made this out of pre-dyed fabric that I already have and I quilted it. There's actually um, batting in between the fabric. Lovely. Oh God. This is a Christmas present for my cousin back in 2015. There's Five Nights at Freddy's Chibis and they look like shit. Boy, I hate this thing. I hate this thing so much. I'm so glad I don't have it anymore. Just look at this. It's horrific. And this stage it looks awful. The coloring is so bad. Like what? Why? No. Oh god. Oh. Oh. Oh god, why? Let me just look at Bonnie! 
horrific. Look at this thing. Fucking eat your soul in your sleep. <laughs> I mean, oh, wait, whoops, spoilers. I mean, I know <laughs> it's Five Nights at Freddy's and it's supposed to look weird, but I mean, creepy, but ugh, God, still, just. Ugh. I think, yeah. This is the start of the artwork I did for my YouTube channel. So this, there's actually a video of this, an old ass video of this on my channel if you want to see it. <laughs> oh. And then, oh, and this is where I started using markers too. So everything from here on will probably be markers. I really don't, I don't really use color pencils at all. Or, I don't really use color pencils at all anymore. <sighs> This is Happy from Fairy Tale. This is a 2015 Christmas present for my sister. This is done with Prismacolor color. No, Prismacolor markers, not color pencils. Damn it, I just said I stopped using those. No, I think there is a little bit of color pencils in here. I have a YouTube video of this too. If you want to see it, it's old as shit and probably sucks, but you could see it if you want to. I mean, why not? This was a Christmas present for my brother, still 2015. This is Jack Skellington from A Nightmare Before Christmas. And this is an ink painting with a little bit of marker. Or, no. I think it's a little bit of color pencil. So mainly ink and some color pencil for details. I do have a video for this one too, if you want to check that out. I actually just made the voiceover for this one recently, so it shouldn't be too shit. And this was a painting I did, oh, we're in 2016 now. It's a painting I did for a friend, actually in the painting studio of my old college right here. So this is acrylic painting on a uh, masonite board. And I, I hate painting on masonite board, especially with acrylics. I hate acrylics at the best of times, but they're, they're even bigger of a pain in the ass on masonite board. It's just, just no. Just no. I mean, I liked how it turned out in the end, but no, no, uh, no. <sighs> and this is a little jellyfish that I made back in 2016. I just hand dyed fabric, hand texture fabric, and I sewed it myself, and I stuffed it, and all that lovely stuff. This guy's itty bitty. I don't even think he's a foot long. He might be a foot long. I don't know. A cute little jelly. Cute little jelly with cute little tentacles and you know, cute little stars and pearls. Adorable. Here we got this grell chibi ish thing. I made this for my sister for her birthday. So it's not a Christmas present, it's a birthday present. Those are rare. <laughs> still a little birthday present. This is still Prismacolor markers. Yeah, I think it's supposed to be a chibi. I mean, it's not tiny enough to be a chibi but it's not big enough to be a regular figure oh well the coloring on it's nice I suppose and here we have Greninja this is a Christmas present for my cousin for 2016 I quite enjoyed doing this one it was fun I think my marker ran out as you can tell yeah my dark blue ran out for this I was very upset about that. I was like, why does it have to run out now? Why? I need it. I was very salty. Very. Oh, and I have a video for this one too. And a video for this one. Yeah. So I have a video for this one. And this one on my channel if you'd like to check those out. And here we got Christmas present for my brother. This is Goku and Vegeta from Dragon Ball Z. And here's Goku eating all the fucking food and Vegeta, just, Vegeta doesn't want fucking anything with it. Just, just, just fuck stop eating, god damn it. <laughs> and this is still with markers. And I'm pretty sure I finished this the night of Christmas Eve. Because that's that's what I do. I finish this on Christmas Eve, but I finish this one in the morning. I finish this one at night. Like, a few hours before I was supposed to give it to my brother. Lovely. And uh, this is Sebastian from Black Butler. 
Now this was a Christmas present for my sister and I finished it around the same time as I finished this one because <laughs> I'm very... I'm always on time. Always very punctual. I always do stuff ahead of time. I never wait to the last minute. Ever. Who does that? Not me. No. Never. This is just a sketch I did of Mikasa. Well, we're in 2017 now. Almost done. I never actually used this for anything. I was actually going to use it for my colored pencil comparison video. If you want to check that out, it's on my channel. But I ended up drawing a jellyfish for it instead because I figured the jellyfish would be more simple to color and I could use a wider range of colors for it than I would for this one. I don't know if I'm ever going to use it. Probably not. Probably not. Ooh. Ooh, so we got we got Charizard. We're getting we're getting to the newer stuff. The newer stuff. So this was a Christmas present for my cousin last year. I leveled up quite a bit for the Christmas presents for my cousin at the very least. He got something very fancy. Got fancy Charizard. This is all done with markers with a little bit of color pencils and little highlights. If you want to hear me talk about this more, I totally have a video of this, a uh, recent video of this on my channel if you would like to hear more about it. I'll just zoom up really quick on some of the details that I did. So like this, these little lines here were done with color pencils. These little highlights up here were also color pencils. And I think some little details on the claws here were a combination of marker and color pencil. Yeah. I actually quite like this one. I mean, there's some things- Oh no! Spoilers! There's some things I would do differently. Even though this is only a couple months old, I'm still looking at it. I'm just like, hmm, there's some things I could have done better. But, eh. It's good for what it is. I still like it. So it hasn't it hasn't reached that phase where I'm kind of just like, ooh, that's embarrassing. Because a lot of my old artwork, I'm like, after a little while, I'm like, oh god, that's embarrassing. Ooh. And sometimes, usually almost like immediately after I finish an artwork, I'm already embarrassed of it. <laughs> mm. But not this one though. I still like this one. Fantastic. And here we go. We got the game Grumps that I spoiled earlier. This was a Christmas present for my sister from last year. It's just Aaron and Danny. Not much to say about this one. I actually really like how Danny turned out, but Aaron looks a little weird. Like, I'm not sure what the hell's up with his face. Like, what did I do with his eyeballs? Like, what what is going on? Why? Why? <laughs> no, stop! Why do I keep spoiling everything? <sighs> so I only I actually didn't make a Christmas present for my brother last year, because I'm a terrible sister. I just made one for my cousin and my sister. And this should be the last one that I got. This was originally supposed to be a Christmas present for my mother for 2016. <laughs> but I ended up finishing it in March of 2017. Yeah. Because I'm very punctual. Always all always on time. Never wait to the last minute or months after to do something. Never. Mm-mm. I was actually going to make a YouTube video for this one, but I decided not to because uh, I had no idea what the hell to say for it. I had nothing to say, and I still have nothing to say. Very glad I didn't make a video. So it's just markers, just Harley Quinn. I don't like the circle thing. Don't quite like this either, but I guess Harley Quinn's alright. And my mom got her very late Christmas present, so that's good. And that should be it. Yep, that's it. So I hope you enjoyed this special extra art tour video of stuff that I missed. It's a little different format this time since I don't have this artwork anymore. So I have to show you images on my computer. Ooh, fancy. You can see my see my desktop. Look at that. Look at that. Fucking Ornstein and Snow. Beautiful. Ugh. Lovely. Anyway. Hi phone. I hope you enjoyed this lovely video. I sure did. Like, comment, and subscribe and um, I'll hit my mic. 
See you around. Toodaloos. Yeah.